welcome students welcome to my next video indian subcontinent and history part 3 video number 3 standard 6 history as we all know in my first part i mentioned about how the humans settle in a region the climatic condition the environment the soil the flora and fauna all are the contributing factors and we also saw the examples of the hilly region and the plain areas we saw the difference between the people living in the hilly region and the plain areas now my dear students further in the second part we have seen the geographical features of india especially we have learned about himalayas and we know how himalayas protect us from the extreme climate which is coming from the other side of the country we saw the importance of himalayas we saw the khyber pass the bolan pass how it was used for trade then we spoke i spoke about the plain of sindhu ganga and brahmaputra how the plain areas help the human being to cultivate to grow crops then we saw the deccan plateau we saw western ghats eastern ghats and how the various empires were established in these regions i gave example of a mauryan empire then we could also see the coastal regions how coastal regions has developed trade relationship with other countries how we come came in contact with foreign countries when the land routes were discovered by various people but yet sea routes did not diminish then we saw the map making we saw where is this deccan plateau we saw himalayan mountain we saw the thar desert now we will see see you look at you look here andaman islands it is a chain of islands you see here now we will see the indian subcontinent now my dear students when i speak about indian subcontinent the first thing comes to my mind is the city of harappa and mohenjodaro which is now in pakistan afghanistan pakistan nepal bhutan bangladesh and sri lanka and india together with the region known as south asia considering the expanse the significance of india in this region it is also known as indian subcontinent now when i speak about harappan civilization harappan civilization was not a rural civilization but it was an urban civilization and this civilization has spread mainly in the northwestern part of indian subcontinent you know the harappan script is still not deciphered still they don't know the historians are doing research they don't know the which script they used it now our neighboring countries like china myanmar 
are our neighboring countries. They are not part of South Asia or Indian subcontinent. However, they had cultural and trade relation with ancient India. As we all know, Gautam Buddha, he has, sent, he has sent his son Mahendra and his daughter Shangamitra to the foreign countries to introduce Buddhism. So my dear students, we could see that our Indian subcontinent is very, very important. Today's Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, they together constituted South Asia. So now in the next lesson, we will see the important places of ancient Indian history. Thus, I would like to come to an end of this video. If you like the video, please do like it. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe it. And if others are not aware of this video, kindly send the link so that they may be aware of this video. Thank you and have a nice day. God bless you.